Heart disease is very important to recognize because it's the number one killer in the United States. The goal of Rush's uh, Structural Heart Disease Center is to treat patients who have valvular heart disease as well as structural heart disease. Over the years we have garnered a huge experience in this area and I think one of the successes is that we've been able to assemble a team of experts, a team of experts in imaging, cardiac surgeons, interventional cardiologists, anesthesiologists who work together who have a vast experience in making sure this is a safe and efficacious procedure. Americans are living longer, and because of that, we are seeing things that we never used to see, and one of them is an age-related degeneration of the aortic valve called aortic stenosis. The aortic stenosis is the most common valvular problem in the United States. The deposits of calcium, like hardening of the arteries, this is hardening of the valve, builds up over many years. The heart has to work harder, so the heart becomes more muscular, and the heart cannot get enough blood flow to the very thick muscle. That's what causes the chest pain. More advanced would be when the heart would actually start to become less effective in contracting and pushing the blood out into the aorta and the rest of the body, and that's congestive heart failure. Let's say the patient is 92 years old. They had prior uh, surgery on the heart, and so their risk of surgery is gonna be pretty high. And so for that patient, a procedure like TAVR, there's no splitting of the breastbone, that's very well suited to that patient. We really feel as a structural heart disease program that the over-the-wire or transcatheter therapies are really the least invasive uh, method to correct the problem. So we are looking for ways to evaluate patients that would uh, benefit from it and qualify for those kind of therapies. The way TAVR is done or transcatheter aortic valve replacement is done is a wire inserted in the femoral artery and threaded up under x-ray guidance into the heart. Once that wire is there, we can deliver a balloon which dilates the narrowed valve and then deliver another balloon which is carrying a valve into the same place. So in contrast to a surgical procedure where they actually excise the old valve, we implant a new valve right over the old valve. In fact, the old valve acts as an anchor for the new valve implant. I think we can be comfortable with the diagnosis of the heart We've been involved in clinical trials for patients who uh, were considered high risk for open heart surgery. Transcatheter based procedure is now FDA approved and we are able to treat patients who are intermediate risk. Uh, we are also right now involved in clinical trials uh, for patients who are considered low risk for open heart surgery. So going back to our patient here, um, the left coronary heights are a concern. We meet weekly at a conference and we review each of our patients individually. We have cardiologists, we have heart surgeons, as well as other staff that will uh, review, assess the patient, understand the clinical need, and you know, apply what the best intervention happens to be. I felt a pressure in my chest. It kind of wouldn't go away. I was feeling for quite some time shortness of breath. I said, you know, we're going to go to check this out. Kathleen presented to our multidisciplinary heart valve clinic. She was somewhat young to get a transcatheter valve replacement. However, her back pain syndrome prevented, we felt, from a easy recovery from open heart surgery. For that reason, we felt the team, the multidisciplinary team, felt that a less invasive TAVR type procedure would allow her to ambulate and recover more easily on a faster basis than with surgery. You've had all your preliminary testing completed. Uh, I think there's nothing else to do except to schedule the date for your procedure. Right. Let's do it. During a TAVR procedure, it requires a team of doctors. Uh, we're working next to each other in the room. We will have cardiac anesthesiologists. We will have imaging people. We will have the physicians that are doing the procedure. Deploy. Kathleen's prognosis is excellent. 
She should have resumption of normal activities within three to four days after her procedure. Kathleen, my name is Julie. I'm one of the nurse practitioners. I feel great. I feel relieved and I feel grateful that I was able to do this procedure. It is a miracle. We all said that in the hospital. It's just remarkable. The recovery, outstanding. Go for it if you get a chance. Rush has been there from the very beginning. Some of the finest specialists in the country, cardiac surgeons, imaging people, even pediatric surgeons, pediatric interventionalists who all work together as part of a team to ensure the most innovative, effective, and safe care of patients with these kinds of problems.